what's poppin' my J dolls and I am back with another video you guys before we get to this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and ring that the bell you guys we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers so don't play with us because we was never one of them and we won't okay so anyways y'all today I'm gonna be doing a story time um I just recorded a different story time and put that up first about how I was drugged in Jamaica this story time is going to be about how I had to pull up on a nigga had to pull up in a skirt skirt bin <laughs> and do that shit again, okay? <laughs> y'all, what I tell y'all? Oh, put some respect in my name. I'm pulling up on you. Put some respect in my name. Put some respect in my name. Okay, that, that's what I did. Y'all, I'm ready to tell my story. I'm probably going to do a little snippet on TikTok about it. Um, but this could kind of be a toxic advice too about how to get your nigga back. But I'm going to just tell you my story, what I did. Um, and it was a little toxic. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all right now that I'm done with the toxicity in my life. I'm just tired of being toxic. Like, I'm tired of toxic shit. I just want to be happy. And truthfully, I want to be with somebody that makes me feel happy. That I don't have to be toxic with. That wants the vacation. That wants to make money. That, um treats me with uh, respect <laughs> and that buys me like flowers and treats me like a queen and like you know like I want something better like why would I want that like why would I why, like I just I realized that like this week why would I want that when I could have this why would I want that if I could have this make it make sense so I'm hoping when I go to Houston, I find me a little scammy nigga. <laughs> and he, he might be right here because he might not be up here because he can go to prison. But I'm thinking when I go to Houston because, like, I really think the ballers, psychologists that are black is either, like, famous or they, they scammers. So I will take a scammer for um 500, please, as long as you don't scam me because I ain't trusting you around shit. Anyways, y'all, let me get into this. I just got a whole car. I really wouldn't date no scammer, y'all. I'm scary as fuck. Like, I am federal as fuck. Like, never been to prison. Anyways, y'all, let me just tell you this. So, boom, the story time. This happened like five months ago. I, I don't know, a good, a few months, some months, some months. So, boom, y'all, I used to be very toxic with this person, um, Larry, from the Sneaky Link video. Yeah, after that Sneaky Link video, y'all, I was supposed to be done with Larry. But I ended up back with Larry again um, for uh, almost the third year in a row of being a stupid bitch. So let me just tell y'all what I did because this was on me. I can't blame him for this. I'm going to tell you this right now. So what had happened was, so I had blocked him off of my phone. Like, <laughs> I blocked him off my phone. And actually it was like the first time I had blocked him before. I done blocked the nigga like four times now. Like, it, actually, before this year, I had never blocked him before because, like, he really didn't get me, like, like, he wasn't draining me as much as this year. He was draining me a lot. So, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to block the nigga. Maybe that would keep me away from him for real. So, I had blocked him one time. And then he forgave me. Some shit happened. I blocked him another time because he was making blocking seem like, oh, my God, you crossed the line. But, no really it's all about control like he wants me to be accessible to him like if i block him it scares him i think like it scares him like oh this bitch is like really done or like you know i have to go beyond i have to go above or beyond of what i regularly do you know to get her back and like i think that's scary to him so like what blocking was like really pissing him off and i'm like why why is this even an issue so anyways y'all so boom i think this was probably the second time or yeah i think it's the second time when he blocked me so what had happened is I blocked him because of the girl I said in the last in the last video about how he tried to fuck some bitch, <clears throat> which was okay because at that point we didn't have boundaries. It was like we was just kind of like in an open relationship almost like we were never in a relationship. Like it was just like we was dating other people and we can sleep with other people, and talk to other people. But the thing about me is I was talking to other people. Like I had five niggas, five boyfriends. Don't play with me. But I ain't never sleep with them. Like, right now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm so protective of my body. Like, I don't even just sleep with niggas no more. Like, I used to be like, fuck it. Like, mm, let me, let me fuck them. I'm gonna just do it. Do it for the gram. Or if I go through a breakup, like, I'll be like, mm, I'm gonna just do it for the gram. And it'd be fun sometimes. But now, I'm getting too old for that. It's just like, mm, mm I don't want people to say they have my body because you ain't have my body. 
And then when I get a new body, you really ain't gonna have my body. So anyways, y'all, <clears throat> I'm not out there like that, like he was, you know what I mean? So at that point, I found out about the girl. The whole, the whole thing was not to find out about the girl or anything that we're doing. Like, we you don't need to get back to one another. Like, it don't matter because, like, at this point, we date and we talk and we try to see if we even going to be this. Like, we're going to be this, even though we know we ain't going to be this because we tried it for, like, two years on and off of dating and we still not this. So, anyways. So, boom, what had happened was I had blocked him, but I ain't gonna lie, I, when I start drinking, like, I always start thinking about my last nigga. And he happened to be my last nigga. Or my favorite nigga, let's, let's be honest, and he was my favorite nigga at the time. And I ain't gonna lie, like, my ex before him, I never would try to get back with him, which was interesting, because all my exes I try to get back with. I think I didn't try to get back with him, because... Like, uh, his financial stability was unstable. I think that shit turned me off for real. Because I'm like, why well, didn't go back to him? Because, I ain't gonna lie. The dick game with my ex was fire. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. And my ex was fine as fuck. But, that's beside the point. We ain't come to talk about him. But, anyways, y'all, I always double back. Just know that. So, when I get drunk, I'm gonna pick my favorite nigga. Period. If I got a, nigga, I got, if I got a favorite nigga at the time, I'm gonna pick you. Like, don't feel special because I'm always gonna pick the favorite nigga at the time. So, anyways, he was the favorite nigga at the time. <clears throat> so, I'm like, I'm all the way in Austin, Texas, y'all. And I'm starting to think about him. I'm like, oh, Larry, I just want to talk to him. I'm like, oh, my God, I, maybe I re overreact because he wasn't my man. Like, I shouldn't even be mad about this because, like, I am the one that talked to him and tell him, like, we should date other people and just date each other. Like, I was, like, making it seem like this was okay. But then when it came back to me, it wasn't okay. Da -da -da -da. So, boom. I start thinking like I really want to talk to Larry again. Like I really do, but I blocked him. And at this point, I deleted his phone number and his contact, so I don't know how to get contact with him. And I deleted him off Snapchat, so I really don't know how to get contact. <laughs> like it's no way. So at this point, we had a mutual friend together that's no longer my friend. Um, and I didn't even have to put that in there, but yeah. So anyways, we had a mutual friend together. And uh, I was able to reach out to her to get his credentials and shit. But at the time, I was just like, let me just squirt my mind. Like, I was on FaceTime with her, just telling her about how I miss Larry. I want to talk to Larry, blah, blah, So she was like, oh, girl, like, it's too much. Like, she was pretty much trying to tell me to stay away from Larry, which I should have listened to her because he ain't shit for real. Like, he really ain't. Like, <clears throat> I feel like ever since, like, something happened to him in his past, like, he can't get over that. Like, he can't even get... He can't even fall in love. Like, I really feel like he can't even, like, love somebody properly. Because he always trying to compare a certain love to something else. It's weird. So, anyways, y'all. So, at this point, you know, I'm thinking about him. Blah, blah, blah. So, I'm like, I'm going to handle this when I get home. I'm already plotting, y'all. The thing about me is I'm a planner. So, if you think I just did some shit off the top, it, it ain't really like that. Like, I planned this shit out. I plan this shit. I'm a thorough person. I'm overthinker. Like, I had time this time because I had like a week and a half of vacation. No, no, no. This time, y'all, I had like three weeks because I had one week of vacation and then my friend had COV, COVID. So, like, I end up, you know, have to be off of work because she tested positive, but I didn't have it and I, I was already vaccinated. I got tested two times and I was negative so I can run the streets. So, anyways, y'all, so at this point... <clears throat> I got at home. I said, okay, mm -mm. I picked the day. I said, this day is the day that I'm about to do some crazy. This is the day I'm about to do some crazy. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I know Larry be working late. Like, sometimes he be saying he working. Oh, he works so much. He works so much and he don't really be working. Okay, but then sometimes he really do be working, you know. So, I'm like, you know, I'm going to go at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I think it was like 1-ish to 2 o'clock in the morning. I have, I'm going to put videos in here. Like, I got a video of me driving to his house. Like, I don't know why I recorded, like, the sound of me driving to his house. And then I have a video that really relates to me that I'm going to put in here, y'all. Um, so, anyways, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, but that was my plan because I want to make sure he was home. So, boom. So, I've been in Larry's car a few times. But, the thing is, when I was in his car, a uh, couple times I was drunk. And then, like, uh, the other times, like, I was sober. But, I really wasn't paying attention to the color of his car. And, he has a car that almost everybody has. So, it's like, 
not something you would always notice, you know, because it's a very common car. Anyways, y'all, so boom, one time when I was drunk, he had drove me to his house. Because before, I used to go to a different house where he used to live. And then after that, he started coming to my house. He moved from that house to a different city. And it's far. So, like, at this point, Larry has a car. So, I would always have him come to me because I used to always come to him. So, anyway, so at this point, he lived far. And so, I never go to his house. And so, like... I went to his house one time when I was drunk. And I did it on purpose, y'all. Everything I do, I do it with a purpose. Trust me. Believe me. If you don't think I'm, I'm doing some shit. If you think I'm doing some shit just randomly, just know that's not me. I'm very calculated. So, anyways, I had him pick me up from the club one day. Because I wasn't talking to him for a while. And so, I was like, I know he's going to pick me up. Because he hasn't seen me in a while. He's going to be excited to see me. Period. <laughs> so, anyways, like, you know, he picked me up from the club. And I was drunk as shit, you know, but he drove me to his house because I was like, he's like, oh, you want me to take you to your house? I was like, no, like, I want you to take me to your house. I'm staying at your house. So he said, okay, cool, whatever, bad, 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 I guess. Like, I wasn't expecting it because he always, he always, like, don't be cleaning up. Like, my house be messy sometimes. I can't, like, like his house don't even be that messy, but, like, he be want to be prepared. So anyways, I'm like, oh, no, we can go to your house. So he said, okay, cool. So we go to his house. And he think I'm too drunk to remember where he stay. <laughs> Never that. So, y'all, so I remember the name. There was some complicated-ass name in his city. So, of course, I ain't going to never remember the full name, but I remember his city and I know how it looked like. So, all I got to do is Google his city and then find a the name. Duh. So, boom. Mm, my eyelashes is itching the fuck out of me, y'all. I ain't going to lie to you. Jesus Christ. Hmm. So anyways, y'all, all I got to do is just, oh, I'm sorry. Let me touch my eye a lot. So all I have to do is just literally Google his freaking address. I mean, not his address, his city and the name of his apartment. So boom, y'all, I know where he live now. <laughs> and I looked at his apartment number, so I know what apartment he's staying in. So it ain't a problem, ain't a thing. So I'm thinking, like, his apartment didn't seem that secure. You know, I could probably just get in the building and then knock on his door. Like, this is my whole plan. I'm like, I know his building name at this point. I know what apartment he stay in. And I don't think he's building that secure, which I was wrong about. So, anyways, y'all. So, boo, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I said, get up in the... Mm, mm, mm. Hey, hey, do that shit again. In this video, okay? So I'm on my way. Like before I go on my way, y'all, I'll get this outfit. The one thing, y'all, if y'all want y'all nigga back or y'all sneaky link back, which I'm putting this on TikTok, toxic advice. Make sure you pop up in something really sexy. Like especially if it's nighttime, bitch. Make sure you got something that's gonna really arouse. Rouse them, you know, razzle dazzle, them, make them feel special. <laughs> make them feel special, even though you probably do this to your other niggas, but you gotta make him feel special that day. So, boo, so what you gotta do is what I did this day, I put like a see through dress on, completely see through, y'all. I put a thong on, y'all. I was really about to go outside with just a see through dress and a thong on. Did I have a bra on? I think I had this see through bra on, like, I think the bra was see through. So anyways, that was my whole get up. And I had this jacket tied. And I tied the jacket. It's like a trench coat type of vet. So I'm like, when I get there, and I put some heels on. So I said, when I get there, he ain't going to be able to resist. Like, he going to be forgetting that he even mad that I blocked him for like three weeks. He going to be, he going to forget about that. So boom, so I come. But the thing is, I really didn't even wear, I didn't even want to wear like, uh, uh, I had to wear, like, I didn't want to wear the coat. But I had to because if if someone saw me outside, they would see my whole ass out and shit. Like, they'd be like, what the fuck going on? Is this bitch a prostitute? So, let me tell y'all. If you want your nigga back, just put you some nice ass lingerie on or make your own homemade lingerie. But usually, I would put lingerie on. But at the time, I had my lingerie piece that he already seen that I already wore for him one time. So, I was like, no, nah, I'm going to just do my whole get up. Like, by the way, let me plug my, my brand called lavish i'm gonna be coming out with a plus size uh, lingerie line is launching january 17th so stay tuned so anyways y'all um 
when this had happened and if you're a plus size woman please please subscribe to me now because that's gonna be definitely important for you to stay up to date for that so anyways y'all i know i'm looking like a snack i got my makeup <laughs> hair looking nice <laughs> body looking right everything out tonight okay so boom so i, I go to his house like i'm driving bitch and he lived far as fuck it's dark as fuck and i'm like jam like Hey, to all that sexual music, like, okay, I'm about to get some deep tonight. Like, this is getting me tonight. Hey, you know, like, I'm about to get my nigga back. That's not really my nigga, but he my nigga. I'm about to get him back. <sighs> anyway, so boom. So we get there, and, oh, I get there, and then I'm like, okay, shit. I got to remember how his car looked. Now, let me tell you, the one thing I remember his car, it had to one day about his car, he had a little writing writing on the window, like he got it from a uh, a large a lot or something. I don't know. So I'm like, okay, like an auction or something. So I'm like, okay, I just gotta look for the writing. So I'm going through his hood, up and down, up and down the parking lot, like I'm a motherfucking like a uh, robber or a thief or something. Um, so I'm riding up and down, but then I'm like, okay, this is getting sketchy. Like I can't find. I see all this type of same car that he got, but. And none of them have writing on. Like, this nigga might not be home. Like, what if this nigga not home? Like, I'm sorry. Freak out. Like, I know I just drive all the way over here for this nigga not to be home. Like, I know. And then at this time, nobody was going in the building. So, I'm like, damn, I can't even get in the building right now. I can't get in the building. Like, I go up to the building. It's secure, bitch. I can't even pop no locks or nothing. Like, this shit is secure. I try to, like, um, dial his number on there, but it ain't even set up. So I'm like, God, damn, this is God telling me you should have stayed your stupid ass home, stupid bitch. But <clears throat> I kept it going because I said, this nigga got to be home unless he with another bitch. And if he with another bitch, we got a problem. So I said, I got to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> so, yo, well, I call my I call my friend, my ex-friend. And I'm like, oh, so like, he not even, you know, I don't see his car. His car's not here. Da -da. She's like, oh, girl, his car got to be there. Da -da -da. I like, keep looking. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm looking. Da -da. She's like, I can't believe you went over there. Yes, I did. And I did. So then I'm like, okay, I don't got his number. Just send me his number because I got to call this nigga. He got to come out. I'm outside and I'm not playing. So, girl, she gave me his number. So I call him. I'm calling him back to back to back. This nigga answered like, nigga, you ain't going to answer me? A P-I-M-P? You ain't gonna answer me, the queen bee. So I said, Oh, no, 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 we're not gonna have this. So I think I text him and I'm like, You need to answer your phone. Like, what is going on with you? Answer your phone or some shit. So I, I didn't know at the meantime, my friend was calling him. So him and my friend is friends. Him and my ex friend, we're not friends no more, but like, anyways, him and her are friends. And so, like, honestly, like, she was calling him and telling him, like, answer your phone because Juana's outside. I didn't know that she was telling him I was outside. Like, that was ruining the whole plan, but whatever. So, when I called him, like, the fifth time, I was calling him back to back to back. Like, bitch, you know I'm outside, and I ain't about to be sitting outside. We're going to cause a scene. We're going to cause a scene, you know. And I thought I seen his car, but it had the writing on it. So, I'm like, nah, this nigga, I got to be home. If he not home, he with a bitch. And I doubt he going to be with a bitch this late, so... Unless the bitch is me. So, like, I'm like, mm-mm. Like, I feel like I'm the only bitch that can really stall him for that long. Like, unless, like, maybe he, I don't know, he was with somebody and they spend the night or some shit. So, at this point, <clears throat> I'm calling him, I'm calling him, I'm calling him. He finally answered. Now, let me tell you, my friends are like, why would you do that? What if he had another bitch there? Da -da? So, I was telling him, like, honestly, if there was another bitch there, I might have to fight. Like, I'm, I'm not even that type of person, but it's like, now you embarrassing me. Like, I, I don't even want to fight the woman because the woman got nothing to do with me. But now I'm a little goofy. Like, bitch, you done popped in my fucking house. Like, you look stupid. You look so stupid. Then I got to show you I'm stupid. Like, why? Why would you do that? Like, like why you would have a bitch here? Like, but I knew not to tell he ain't had no bitch there because... I ain't say he ain't got no bitches, but I just knew he had no bitch there. Period. Okay. So, anyways, y'all, so, anyways, he asked her, he's like, Joanna, like, what's, uh, what do you want? Da, da, da. Try to act hard to get. Y'all, that's the thing is these niggas try to act hard to get. Hard to get. It's you get them hard. Okay, so let me tell y'all what to do. So, boo, I was just telling him, I just want to talk to you. Like, da, da, da. So, he's like, oh, we can just talk in the car. No, we can't. No, we can't. I'm coming inside. Ain't no talking in the car. So, I tell him, no, 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 we not doing all that. I'm coming in. Cause I'm thinking at this point, why he wanna talk in the car? He got a bitch there? Like we gonna have a problem here? 
So boom, like this ain't even my nigga at the time. Like we, it's not even semi my nigga at the time. Anyways, but boom, we still gonna have a problem. So anyways, y'all, he finally let me in because he know he better let me in. As he should, like he wanted to see me. Like he was trying to act like he didn't want to see me, but he really want to see me. Like let's just be honest. So I ain't never popped up on the nigga. Like that's my first, but I'ma just let it be known that I'm popping up on my next nigga. So don't feel special. Don't feel special because I'm gonna pop up on my next nigga too. Respectfully. Respectfully, because the next nigga that I really be with, like, it's going to be really my nigga, like, for real. Like, it's going to be my nigga for real, so I'm going to go out. I'm going to go all out for that nigga, like, mm-mm, mm-mm. He might get it worse now because of my time being played with so much. Like, maybe he might get it worse. So, anyways, y'all, so, boom, he was like, what is going on? You're crazy. Like, why would you come to my house? Da -da -da -da. I'm like, well, I need to talk to you, and, like, you always want to be texting, but I want to talk to you in person, which is true. You never want to talk about problems in in person or on the phone he wanted to text about that shit i don't got time to text texting get me angry so anyways we said i'm trying to be all cute and stuff like because i did block him and i did start a problem with him and i love him i always leave it but still so boom so i'm like okay like um i'm sorry i shouldn't have blocked you so, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So y'all, I'm trying to be all sweet because I'm never sweet. So I'm like, let me just be all sweet because I didn't came all the way over here. Like, mm -mm. So we started talking and he was like, oh, would you feel the same way if I popped up at your house? Like, you wouldn't like that. I was like, no, actually I would. Now, I mean, going back at it, <clears throat> if he was trying to win me back, yes. But just popping in my house, I don't know. It depends. It depends on the time. It depends on a lot of stuff, but like it kind of might turn me on, but then it depends. It might turn me off, like if I really don't want about him. So, anyways, y'all, so boom, we start talking stuff, da -la 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 -la. <laughs> and then he ended up forgiving me, of course. Y'all, so toxic, he's toxic too. So, mm -mm, two toxic people together is just dangerous. So, y'all, so long story short, I show him my outfit, what I got on, baby. I bid it over for him, girl. I'm a when I tell you I will put on a show for your nigga, I put a show for him. A show for him, okay? So like at this point, he ready, like, he ready, like honestly we start talking to stuff and then we start sneaky linking. <laughs> Y'all, I tell you, we start sneaking linking. It's always the best when it's like y'all got a problem and then y'all make up. Like, that makeup be the best. I ain't gonna lie. The makeup be the best. Like, the regular times be like, ah. But the makeup times be like, mmm, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, you never gonna block me again? You never gonna block me again? Nope. And I did. <laughs> and I did again. But apparently. But anyways, y'all. <laughs> y'all like he made me like add him back on snapchat i wasn't good the thing is i was never gonna add him back on snapchat because i feel like snapchat we have our most problems from because like when we try to leave each other alone it's like he come back through snapchat sometimes like if i block him then he gonna go to snapchat and yeah i don't need to be doing that and then i also be double checking like oh is he watching my snapchat and shit like that's also toxic like just validation that's all around validation that you don't need so yeah anyways y'all so that's the story time how i popped up on the nigga yes i got him back and i think this night yeah and i girl also y'all i was so stupid because i left my car in the parking lot he only got no visitor passes so i'm scared my shit gonna get sold but i didn't care because i risk it i risk it for him I, do i know why i don't but i did risk it for him and then you know I don't even know what happened the next morning. Like, uh, the thing about me is I be leaving early in the morning. Like, he be up to work, and I got shit to do, too. Like, I'm not going to be lollygagging. But I really feel like my next nigga, <clears throat> I'm going to be there with him all day. I'm going to be there with him all day. Like, my ex, like, we was together. Like, if we wake up, we'll be together for the day. And we'll go do this, do that, do that. But for me, every time I was at his house, I be having shit to do, for real. Like, a lot of time before that. I had to help my friend move and I was late as fuck. And he had to drop me off. So yeah, it's just, yeah, that I think that's gonna be the end of the saga. But like, let me just tell you that that's how I put up on him. Hey, that's how we step on niggas. Hey, hey. So if you ever want your nigga back, all you gotta simply do is put up on him. Make sure you got something sexy on and you ready to show him. Like, 
do it like it's your b-day and make sure he know that it's you like it's you he never gonna forget you too that's the toxic thing to do but he never gonna forget you he gonna always remember the girl that just popped his house randomly he never had no shit like that some dudes do but larry never had that shit before so he ain't gonna never forgive me because i'm the first to pop up his house in lingerie to get him back like <laughs> who you who you know do that for you nobody so you ain't gonna never forgive me you're never gonna forgive me. Like y'all gotta make memorable. You gotta make yourself memorable. You gotta. And then if if he had a pop up situation before, <clears throat> you gotta go above that then. But the laundry gonna set it up because no girl popping up nine times a ten when girls pop up, they popping up for a problem. So if you're popping up out of positivity and you got laundry right on you, he never gonna forget you, bitch. He ain't never had that. That's never gonna happen because it doesn't happen. Like. I came up with it. Like, who else has done it? Because I never heard of it. So let me just tell y'all this right now. Take my advice if you want your nigga back or your sneaky link back or whatever. And you, if you were in the wrong. But if you ain't in the wrong, then you might have to do a different type of pop-up. But you ain't hear that from me. But if he wasn't in the wrong and he was in the wrong and you try to be toxic, you might want to do a different type of pop-up, type of pull-up on me, okay? But, y'all, anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.